Namaste and good morning everybody. As you all are aware that Assam Accord Clause number 6 is going to be implemented very soon in Assam. A high level committee uh, in this regard has been constituted by Government of India uh, though it is now not in function. Even though somewhere, someday, in near future Assam Accord will be implemented, definitely, we suppose. So in this regard, uh, I want to highlight some point that we, the Manipuris living in Assam, are also indigenous community. There is a historical evidence that Manipuris started living in Assam since 1711 AD. In that year, what happened is that uh, Arjundas Kakoti and Ratna Kundala, the two envoys of Ahom King Rudra Singh, to the Tripura Raja while going to Tripura found that in Rongarang there is a place called uh, Rongarang in Kachar district they found that Manipuris were selling their products so it is being uh, written in the Tripura Burunji uh, and uh, a reliable book which is found in Tripura and uh, in the year of 1768 also uh, a book written by Sir Edward Gate, uh, A History of Assam, it is clearly mentioned that uh, Manipur Raja Jai Singh gave her daughter to Ahom King Rajeshwar Singh in marriage. Uh, many Manipuri people accompanied with her were allowed to settle near the mouth of Desoi or Magluhat and uh, now it is called Manipuri Market also. So, from that very time, Manipuri started living in Assam. And uh, in the year of 1851 also, uh, there is a record called Kasar Record Number 69 of 1851. Uh, it is clearly mentioned that Manipuris were the second highest populated uh, community uh, in Kachar district. Uh, a renowned historian J.B. Bhattacharya mentioned all these things in his book uh, Kachar under British rule in Northeast India. And in his book uh, uh, W.W. Hunter named a statistical accounts of Assam in the year of 1872 also it is clearly mentioned that Manipuris were found to living in uh, found to live in Kachar district, Sipsagar district, uh, Gualpara and Kamru also. He also clearly mentioned while giving ethnical division that uh, Manipuris uh, were ab origin tribes also. So we are very much happy that uh, in the year 1872, this W.W. Hunter categorically identified Manipuri as one of the tribe community of Assam. Nowadays, Manipuris are found to be settled in almost all the districts of Assam maintaining and retaining their original costume, culture and tradition without mingling or mixing with the culture and tradition of other neighboring communities, retaining their original cultural traditions. And this is one of the good characteristics found in, in uh, Manipuri community and all other tribes also. It is one of the important characteristics to, uh, which will be uh, advantage, which will give an advantage while claiming Manipuri as one of the tribal community of India. Uh, though we are trying to uh, um, uh, demand, we are, we are in the process of demanding Manipuri to be enlisted in the scheduled trial list by the government of India. Now, in this uh, regard and giving, keeping in all the facts given above, it is very much clear that Manipuri community living in Assam are indigenous and we must get our undisputed pride and privilege as an indigenous community uh, while implementing the Assam Accord our interest as an indigenous community should be taken care of by the government of India and by the government of Assam and so that we can, we can avail all the facilities of reservation uh, as per the Assam Accord close number 6 so this is our demand to the government of India and government of Assam and other stakeholders including the ASUS 
and other uh, organizations who are claiming for the implementation of Assam Accord and uh, the clause number six while giving the safeguard to the SMS people while giving the constitutional, legislative and uh, administrative safeguard to the indigenous people of Assam by implementing the clause number six interest of the Manipuri community should also kindly be considered. So we must also come under the category of reservation. Manipuri communities living in Assam are deprived in all respects, right from their language, right from their education, right from their uh, legislative rights. We are not being given proper judgment by all other neighboring communities. There is an ample evidence. So in my next video, I am going to highlight all those points. Please bear with me and wait for the next video. Thank you all for listening to me. Thank you.